Hello and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I am an empath and intuitive card reader. And today, this is my second attempt because the first one got interrupted. This is twice I've done the spread. It's for tomorrow for all 12 signs of the zodiac. For tomorrow, which is Tuesday, June 28th, 2016. Okay, so what I've done is I've saved the cards that I laid out. I was almost on the first this, for, this reading, the first time I had like three more minutes to put into it and it would have been done and I got interrupted. And I had to stop. And the online webcam that I use doesn't have a pause button or anything like that. So once you shut it down, it just saves it to the system and you can't splice it back together. More than one or anything like that. So, anyways, what I've done is I've uh, relayed the cards again. The meanings are not going to change and the heat's not going to change on it. The first card that I got was Page of Wands. Pages are always indicative of, of young people. Usually a young male will bring messages to you. Okay, so here's the card. And he represents creativity. Creativity. And, uh, oh dear, I need my glasses. One moment, bear with me. I put my glasses on here. Okay. The page is very charming and witty. He brings you great news about creative projects, travel, plans and new work. One can now discover new talents in the arts. The advice of the card is this is your time for self-expression through words, pictures, dance, or music, etc. Whatever your interest in the arts is and what your talent is. The keywords are messages, him, travel, news, communication, new work, expression, transition, and entertainment. So that's your first card. The second card I drew was the Knight of Cups. Cups always represent the heart, the things that matter to your heart, the things that, that um, um, are most important to you, your, your loving relationships, your family relationships, your home life, and your relationships at home. Okay, so this card is all about proposals. And the keywords are offers, dreams, illusion, illusions, imagination, fantasy, love, and infatuation. The advice is to judge by actions and not by words. Test somebody's intentions before going along with their ideas. A romantic, idealistic um, male has a proposal for you. He's charming and magnetic, but he does not. Um, his offers do not stand on anything really true or with any concrete, concrete uh, evidence. He may not be lying, but um, he's not a realist. His words might even be captivating, but they're meaningless in the real world. He is not consistent enough for somebody for you to count on. Okay, so the third card is your Seven of Wands, and Wands are all about business practices and projects, creative projects, um, anything to do with work-related. Um, and work-related can go from, you know, something personal that you're working on for yourself to working in your home, to working on a job, to working in a group community. Okay, and it is the Seven. And the Seven of Wands, the key word is all about um, defense, res uh, resilience, protection, um, opposition and territory, uh, force and resistance. The advice of the card is to say your words loud and clear, then negotiate. And you have the higher moral ground with endurance and courage. You will get the results that you need. You will be, you will need to fight for certain relationships or to protect your own integrity you will encounter a lot of resistance you may need to defend somebody else or you may speak up on behalf of others such as a group a dispute over territory and then the significator card was the knight of swords okay this here from, I've already more or less done this reading once, so I'm going I'm to just do it again. And this card here, the Knight of Swords, is a single entity. It is a man, and it is a male. And he will strike down anyone with his sword that gets in his way. He's extremely goal-oriented. Okay? So, what I saw is that for some of you tomorrow, for the 28th of June, 2016, you're in the middle of a project, and what I can figure from this and what Spirit has been telling me, this is a community-based um, project. 
If not, it will be work-related, of course, or close to your home. Um, but I'm getting a very strong feeling for whoever this is meant for. This is all about a community-based project. And the um, hypothetical situation I used earlier, which became stronger and stronger, so I, I, I ask again how hypothetical this could be, and I don't think that it is. What I think is going on here is that there's a group within the community and there's a plot of land that they want to build something on that is going to enhance the community, enhance activities, um, a free, more or less, um, place for people to go within the community. It could be a community center, it could be a playground, it could be a music center or an arts and craft center, and you want this. So there's going to be a bit of a fight over the territory. The reason being is because of this guy right here. This guy has lots of money and a great big mouth, used to getting what he wants, and he thinks the whole world revolves around money. This shows differently because it doesn't. It's all about expression, self-expression, um, a coming together of people, of a group of people, and this guy here wants this plot of land because right beside this plot of land, he owns a small parking lot. He wants to extend it because having a parking lot sometimes is very profitable for the landowner. You make money while you sleep. So he wants to extend that. But here's the thing. He doesn't own that property and he's putting a bid in for it and he's fighting for it. Now, some of you are going to have to go to bat and take this all on your own shoulders to um, not completely, but to a point. And you're going to have to speak on behalf of this group of people. And um, you know what? This could be a home-based thing too, very private. Maybe you want to buy a plot, plot of land next door. Maybe you want to put something in, uh, extend your backyard or your property. So anyways, um, here's the thing. Within your group, and that's where the, this is where the messenger comes in, it's going to be letting you know that within your group of people, within your community or whatever this group is, the one that you're, 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 you're fronting for this group of people, speaking on their behalf, fighting on their behalf, you find out within this community of people that the young fellow is going to come and tell you, you got all the help that you need. You don't need any more help. And this is wonderful news because within the group, he'll tell you things like, you know, Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so, they own their own law practice for like 35 years and they have a good standing in the community and a great client base as well. And if you need help in that department, they said they'd come forward and pitch for you in a heartbeat, anything to push this through. Um, he'll tell you about other people that are, one guy's an accountant, has his own business, so any money's raised for the community, he can make sure that it goes where it's supposed to go and keep track of every penny. So he's volunteering his services as well. So you're going to find that there's um, maybe an art teacher involved, there's a dance instructor, um, um, children come in and learn new musical instruments. This is a wonderful, wonderful community project. And this guy's throwing in every sword in the way and ready to strike everybody down that gets in his way because he's so strongly... Um, 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 opposed to what this is all about. He doesn't give, you know, two sweet nothings about community and about people because um, he may be business-wise, he may have business smarts, and he's done very well for himself. But when it comes to real people and real lives and what's best for our children and our families, he knows nothing about this, and he doesn't care. He really doesn't care. Um, so that's where... You may have to come down and you may have to jump in front and take the stage. And with all the support behind you within the community, in this community that you're trying to do and better of and, and enhance, um, you do have quite the support system. You have nothing to be afraid of. So the Knight of Cups, which is all about hearth and home and loving relationships, family, um, this card represents dreams and imagination and fantasy and infatuation. The advice is to judge by actions, not words. You test somebody's intentions before going along with their ideas. You're going to have a few people within this community as well where their ideas are grandiose and, and they're thinking way, 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 way down the road in the final picture. And that's fine because I'm a big picture person, but you have to stay realistic within the bounds of reality. Um, this is very realistic and very reality-based. And... Um, you, you, um, um, you're going to keep, keep, kind of keep your eye on this, this particular person. All right. Um, yeah, he's all about proposals and he has one after the other, but yet he has nothing to back it up with. 
So this person is very charming and magnetic, but his offers don't stand true. He's not actually lying, but he's not a realist either. His words can be very captivating and, 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 and whatnot. And um, you end up, you have found with this person, his words are meaningless. He doesn't deal in the real world. He's not consistent. This is somebody you tolerate. That's part of the picture. Well, what the heck? I mean, it gives her interesting um, times. They are part of the community. You can you can delegate some things to this person because they really, really, really want to do their best. And uh, the proof's in the pudding. So what happens is um, you can give him a project to do all on his own to make him feel important. And not that his confidence needs to be boosted because he tends to have a bit too much. It may bring him back down to earth when he realizes the work and what's expected of him if he's going to head up a small project on his own on the side. Um, getting painting posters, maybe. Uh, maybe his thing is dance, you know, music, or this type of thing, which isn't realistic for everybody involved. And that's where he he's not consistent and he's not he's not based in reality. He's almost comical in a way. God bless his heart, right? Um, you have a lot of tolerance. You will for this person. That may not even be connected to this community thing. This could be something entirely different for some of you. You're going to have to keep your eye on this person because if you don't, um, it's the kind of person you're like, you listen to them and you humor them and you you be patient with them. And then you put your arm around their shoulders and you say, you come with me and you're virtually, your arm will always be over their shoulders, looking over their shoulders and wrapped around their shoulder because you have to keep an eye on them. So they don't do any damage along the way so that you can feed their ego and give them what they need and what they want. So everybody has value. Everybody can bring something to the table. And some are a little more gung-ho than others. Um, the gung-ho ones are the ones you have to rein back in a little bit and show them what the real story is and how things have to be taken because you're the level-headed one. You're the one that has your feet planted firmly on the ground. So therefore, you are the leader in this group. All right? And everybody comes to you. You have been appointed to this position, whatever this is. Okay. So the third card is endurance, and it is the seven. The Seven of Wands, again, all about business and whatnot. The keywords are defense, uh, defensiveness, um, resilience, protecting, um, opposition, uh, territory, force, res resistance, and resilience. The advice is say your words loud and clear, then negotiate, and you have the higher moral ground with the endurance and the courage that is needed, and you will get the results that you need. Okay, so... Um, certain relationships um, you may need to fight for or to protect your integrity at some point thanks to this person will try to discredit you so stand your ground stand 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 your ground all right um, you may need to de defend somebody else and go ahead and do that um, the, the green flags are there to go ahead and do that Whatever the problem is and you're defending somebody else or a group of people, you have your facts backed up and you know exactly what you're talking about. Um, there will be a dispute with this guy over territory or property. All right. From what I see here, you're going to win. You're going to win in the end and it's going to be all good. Um, these cards are all good cards. They're very... They're full of activity and action, of concentration, of commitment, of hitting roadblocks along the way. That's all part of real life. And also of um, com com camaraderie, where people come together. Because I get the feeling, and I'm feeling the heat, that there's a group of you out there. Um, or you that is watching this, that this is meant for, you belong to a group. And because you're getting some things thrown in the way, um, excuse me, this could even be something as simple and um, community-based as a playground. It's just where some the people in the community are going to own this and take care of it and make it a part of their lives 
and a part of who they are. And um, and it could do that. It could go from a playground, a clubhouse, community center that is open for everybody, even this guy. When it's all said and done, he wants that property, but here we go. And just because you're hearing it from the cards doesn't mean you give up trying. It's just going to happen that way or fall into place because it won't. So you have to work for that. As long as you work for it, you keep your integrity about you. Because he's going to try to question your integrity. And he's going to try to put it out there publicly. That maybe people shouldn't be so fast to jump on board. People shouldn't be so fast to give you the support that, that you need. But here's the thing. He's way behind the dial here. He's way back there somewhere. And he thinks he's got it all figured out. And here's the funny thing. you got all the support you need. And then some, and then some, and a, a pool of talent that is going to help you complete anything that you take on. So this is for tomorrow, for June 28th, 2016, for all signs of the Zodiac. Watch out for this guy with the sword. He'll bowl you over if given the chance. And if you're the group leader, you're the target. He figures if he discredits you or puts doubt in your mind. And then watch out for... The person with the big ego, there's always one in every group. And you know there is. Always, right? And you don't want to offend anybody, and that's not what you're there for. You want everybody's help. And everybody is of value. And everybody um, can bring their tools and their knowledge to the table. Um, people are excited about this, and they're happy to have you as the one that is leading the show. So, these are the things. You'll run into this guy tomorrow. And you'll deal with this, this very eager beaver, we'll call him. Okay? And it's this kid here, a young person, in their 20s or so. It gets a lot of this, the, these balls rolling. This guy's going to bring you, I like to use the word serendipity. He's going to be dropping stuff at your feet, um, for your ears. And your brain's going to go tick, 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 and the wheels are going to start to turn. And because of him, um, you're going to find other things along the way that you weren't particularly looking for. This is a project that will grow and become richer and richer and more rich as time goes on. And um, the rest of your town, city, or village will be acknowledging what a great job you people. You will impress a lot of people. You'll probably make the local news or newspaper, all right? So this is a wonderful thing. It just card here at the end shows the closer you get to your goal and the closer you are to the end of wrapping everything up, the more problems are going to pop up. But you'll know what to place in order of importance and what is mere threats. Empty threats. That's all they are. Intimidation from this guy. He's not going to give up till the last gun fired in the group's John Henry um, paperwork brought up has been signed off and you guys can celebrate and throw one heck of a night um, on opening night. There'll be a lot of entertainment and a lot of talent put on display and it's about all you guys. So that's an interesting read for tomorrow for some of you. Um, for others you can take bits and pieces from this and it might apply like the young man coming with messages may be for a few of you a whole different thing way off in left field has nothing to do with groups of people or the community or anything like that. Make sure whoever you're dealing with tomorrow, <coughs> excuse me, um, make sure the people you're dealing with tomorrow that bring you offers and opportunities that they're dealing with the real world. Do your investigative work and check things out and look into things. Well, that, my friends, is all I have for tomorrow for you. Very interesting, better than the reading that I did last night, which was a lot of doom and gloom. And I didn't even want to put that reading out there, but I had to. And I couldn't switch the cards. I'm very, I have my integrity when it comes to the cards. And the cards are never wrong. Okay? Um, playing out the cards and the, and, and the things that are brought to your attention and the things that stand out in the run of a normal day. Yes, we all have uh, deal with, with offers every day, um, proposals every day. Uh, things that just general life brings along, but when the cards point something out, they're emphasizing it. They're 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 ballooning it. They're they're blowing it um, up to get your attention. It's like hey hey hey, pay attention to this, and that's what the cards do. They're all about what is important. 
and what will come your way and what you need to pay extra attention to. All right. So that's what that's all about. All 12 signs of Zodiac. I wish you all a wonderful day tomorrow, which will be Tuesday, December 28th, 2016. Please feel free to leave a comment. I love to get the feedback and the fallout um, from where the cards leave off. And you guys can pick up and fill in the blanks the next day. And you can let me know what's going on. If you like this video, please, please click, click the like button. I'd really like that. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's always free. And what that does is every time I post brand new videos from Bay of Fundy Fortune, you'll be given an email alert telling you that I've done so so that you don't miss anything. Coming up in the next few days, I'm going to do the monthly reading for the month of July for each and every sign, such as the monthly reading for Taurus and the monthly reading for Libra, right down right across the board. So you don't want to miss that. You really don't want to miss that. It's going to be good. I can promise you that. If nothing else, it'll be interesting. For now, I'm going to stop and I'm going to say goodbye and wish you all the very best. Thank you very much for dropping in. I do appreciate you very deeply and I like all the likes and everything else as well. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.